Alright, welcome to uh, video 2 here for uh, Quick Heal. I'm in uh, restarting the computer right now. Windows is booting back up. We'll uh, see how it goes here. Um, see if the uh, startup is any slower or anything. I mean, it will be probably a little bit slower than having nothing on the computer. But it uh, seems to be going okay now. Don't see anything too slow. Got a little sh uh, firewalls. That's the uh, the new the little firewall shield, whatever you want to call it. It's out of date, so we'll probably have to update it again. Yep, it's a September 10 database, so and it does have service packs, just like uh, I said in the earlier video. So that's kind of interesting. Everything seems to be on, so let's update it. While that's updating, let's go to the options, see uh, what kind of stuff we have here. Let's go. Uh, scanner stuff. Let's start off with the scanner. DNA scan. That's good. Okay. Memory scan. Thorough scan. That's good. DNA scan. That's good. Okay. Let's go to protection here. Anti-spam. Okay. Data protection. It's a removable drive protection. Updates. I'm not going to mess with anything in updates. Miscellaneous exclusion and general type items. Okay, so nothing out of the ordinary there. It's uh, done updating here. At least it was updated. No, it seems to not be registering that it is updated. So, I mean, I hope they have updates. I hope their last update was in September 10th. That would not be good. Hmm. So, yeah, it's still saying the same thing. Some of the tools here that it's got, it's got the scan, uh, you know, virus list, thing, anti root kit. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so it's got an anti root kit scan. Okay. Uh, schedule scan, virus list. with our links here while that's doing whatever that's doing I'm trying to see the virus list apparently okay so it does have DOS viruses Linux macro mobile script and Windows viruses those should be lots of them so we would hope see what kind of RAM usage we're getting here out of this Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tons of RAM usage. Look at this. Uh, 111 megabytes. 70. Well, that's still going up. That might be because of the thing we're doing in the background. But I mean, you're looking at about 150 megs, probably, if not more, of RAM. So that's not very. Uh, that's not very nice. probably it's not locked up I bet I bet you it's just uh, trying to load up all those viruses oh, now it says it is locked up so let's just get rid of that I'm gonna pause this while this uh, unlocks itself because it seems to be taking a while I'll be right
Well, just as I was uh, putting that uh, away, as I put the uh, video in pause, it uh, unlocked. So uh, we're going to check again for updates, make sure everything is up to date, even though we keep saying it is, even though it doesn't like it because it has, supposedly hasn't been updated since uh, September 10th. But let's get going with some of those links, and uh, hopefully their DNA scan will take care of a lot of this stuff because I really doubt their signatures will do much of anything for the stuff that I have here. So let's uh let's get going. That one seems to okay here we go. We got a firewall. So it's asking for permission. This is a rogue. So uh let's let the firewall let it out, but we'll see if the antivirus catches anything. Okay, once again, let's let the firewall let it out because, you know, we think it's normal. We want the application. Yet again, the firewall. This one again wants out, so we'll let that one go out. Okay, look, it, something found out. DNA scan warning. That's good. I like that. So access is denied. The file is QWERTY. That's good. And these are new, as you guys remember, these are all new. This one's going to get installed, so I'm not even going to bother installing it because we know it's going to make it through. So let's move on to the next one. So, so far, their DNA scan caught one. The rogue, uh, not even, not much, but not a lot of. Uh, antiviruses out there do well with rogues. Okay. Okay. This has requested an outbound uh, connection, so we'll let that go out, just like we did for the rest of them, because that is just a firewall. Just keep going here. And this one might be down already, so we'll just keep going. a rogue installer. We will uh, let that one out too, even though we know it is a rogue. A normal person would assume that they're downloading exactly what they want. Okay, as you can see, the rogue made it through just fine. This is again want uh, the firewall seems to be doing most of the talking. You can see it wants another uh, outbound connection. Not much of anything else from the antivirus. It's all just a firewall. And uh, I have to pause this and start a new video. I'll be right back.